What's up everybody? Yanks and Beans coming at you with a two box recap. A two box recap? Is that right? Two box recap of the Red Hot 2012 Tops Allen and Ginter World Champions Baseball product just dropped today. I knocked out two boxes. Um, anyone that follows me knows one of my favorite products of the year. Not only do I like the baseball stars, the card stock, but what I really enjoy mostly about this product is the non-baseball champions that I send away for TTM through the mail autos, and I've had a lot of success with them. I actually plan on busting a, a video, making a video of the, um, the Allen and Ginter TTM success that I've had. Let's get right into it and show you guys some of the stuff I pulled. Again, knocked off two boxes, and we're looking at base. This year, base design a little different than last. We've got kind of a gold border going around the outside. Here's a Roger Maris, and I love it. Um, you know, again, a nice heavy card stock, great for autographs. The centering is usually just about perfect. And I'm just going to show you some of my favorites, the Reggie Jackson, the recently uh, scolded by the Yankees, Reggie Jackson, CeCe Sabathia, Joe DiMaggio. There's uh, Nolan Ryan in an Astros uh, uni. I actually saw Nolan Ryan mini framed autograph in a Mets uni go for $500 on eBay already. So some of the big name autographs are in here. Hugh Darvish, Roger Federer, Michael Phelps, Arnold Palmer, Bryce Harper. These are people that you could pull an autograph of and they'll go for some nice bucks for you. Um, Starlin Castro, uh, Granderson on the landscape card, Aroldis Chapman, Brett Gardner, uh, Giancarlo Stanton, Hamilton, Hughes, uh, there's another Maris card. There's my man Teixeira with the red background popping a little bit. Uh, Johan Noho Santana. Longoria. Cal Ripken. Cool looking card. Uh, Steven Strasburg. Berra. Pujols. Swisher. Austin Jackson. Hank Aaron. Nice young Hank Aaron. Buster Posey. Uh, Chipper Retiring Jones, Ricky Henderson has a base card on this product, Lou Gehrig, Ken Griffey Jr., which I absolutely love, that young Ken Griffey Jr., 1989-90 photo card, uh, just looks awesome, and Robbie Cano. Normally, as you guys know, I let my dog, my little pup Regis, he, uh, he rubs the boxes and brings me some luck, but I busted these at work today. And I let my brother open some packs, and man, did he have a hot hand. This is a kid who does not collect cards, um, but he uh, he knocked out some good stuff from me. I'm going to show you them coming up in a little bit. Some of the rookies here, actually, all the rookies I pulled, um, just to throw them at you, Brett Lowry. Um, I did not get a, well, I kind of did not get a brace, a brace, a Bryce Harper base rookie card. I did get a U Darvish, um, you know, uh, Jesus Montero. And, you know, all the rookies are in here. Brett Pill, Ma, Mike Moore, Matt Moore. Um, these are your rookie cards. Now, uh, normally they always have a kind of a one per pack or one every two pack insert. I think they've done players' states and stuff like that. This year it's called What's in a Name. So I believe this is a 100-card set. They're all landscape horizontal Um and it's all everyone's real name. So Alex Gordon, Alex Jonathan Gordon, Osborne Earl Smith, Jack Roosevelt Robinson. And, uh, you know, a little bit about their names. Then on the back it has, uh, you know, a little more letting them know about Edward Charles, Whitey Ford. Um, I'm talking fast. I'm going through it fast. I don't want you to watch a huge break. I know you want to see the hits. Nicholas Thompson Swisher. And, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's show you guys what we got here because it really was some good stuff. Um, I'm going to go through the some of the non-baseball names we have here, um, like, you know, uh, Arnold Palmer, Roger Federer, Bella Caroli, the gymnastics coach, Annie Duke, the poker player, um, strongest man in the world. I don't know who this guy is, but I hope they make a relic of that shirt, because that shirt is awesome. He is the ultimate California surfer dude. Uh, I guess he's some kind of surfer. Uh, fisherman, umpires. Love the inclusion of umpires and sets. Give me umpires and announcers any day. Uh, I think they're great additions. Uh, Curly Neal of the um, Holland Globetrotters. And all of these cards in hand, the smoking Hot Kate Upton, by the way. Um, and uh, Aaron Andrews looks great, by the way. So these cards that I have in hand, all these non-baseball guys, they'll be going out for TTM like right away. Probably going to send them out today or tomorrow. I'm hoping that before these guys get sick of signing cards, they sign one of mine and send them back. The box toppers were pretty basic, uh, a Brian Wilson and a Ken Griffey Jr. Um, there are some box toppers that I think have 
different currency and coins from different countries embedded in them. Last year it was the states and like state relics. So uh, you know how Alan get to go. Just crazy shit all the time. And who knows how they think of it and how it comes at you. Some of the minis. Let's do the minis. Uh, these are my base minis that I pulled. A whole bunch of gold border ones. Federer. Um, okay. And then somewhere within here, we pulled the black borders. Uh, Nelson Cruz, Jimenez, Kershaw, and then these are the gold Allen and Ginter backs. Looking a little different this year. Regular backs look the same as always. Ginter backs are going to look something like that, so you have an idea. Uh, and we have rookies and, um, you know, some nice name players. Uh, Castro again, a lot of Castro, Kate Upton, Mini. Um, so the minis are always big, the minis are always fun. Then, insert sets. Let's talk about them. Let's talk first about the baseball insert set. This is the highlights. They do this every year. The highlight sketches. Um, sketch of a famous player. And then a little bit about what they did on the back. So here's a Roger Maris probably talking about his uh, you know, 61 home run season. Cal Ripken, Iron Man, I'm sure, is what that's about. I'm not going to read you the back of the cards. You could get some. Read them yourself. Historical turning points. Uh, big things and moments in history, the Agricultural Revolution, Discovery of Electricity, Signing of the Declaration of Independence, Independence Hall, Philadelphia. Oh, that belongs with the sketches, so that's cool. World's tallest building. I'm a New Yorker, so it's nice to pull a card if you're going to have the Empire State Building and the brand new World Trade Center. Also, yanked a Sears Tower in this thing, too. I don't know the numbers exactly. These sets usually don't exceed more than 10, 15, 20, 25 cards tops. This is probably like a 10 card uh, insert set that's kind of cool if you want to collect it. Some people don't care about the big insert sets, they care more about the mini insert sets, and we have a couple of them. First of all, we got a world's greatest military leader. I think these are kind of short printed because I only got one of these in two boxes. It's a world's greatest military leader, Alexander the Great. I also only got one musical master of Ludwig von Beethoven. And then this one, I think, also kind of short to Culinary Curiosities Sanaki Jai. So what these are are kind of like, how do I explain it? I guess just weird food that people eat and why. Uh, it says baby octopus. is. Uh, oh, this is that octopus that's still alive when you eat it. I recommend YouTubing that. It's pretty funky. They serve you a live octopus, and when you cut into it, it moves. So there's a card based on it. Uh, pulled a couple of these. The People of the Bible. Adam and Eve, John the Baptist, a couple of man's best friend cards, Siberian Husky, Kali, and a Beagle. Since, of course, my little pup's a, a Chihuahua, I am looking for the Chihuahua card if anyone pulls it, uh, wants to make a trade for it. And Giants of the Deep. They usually do something with fish or whales every year. Um, so here's your Giants of the Deep insert set. So those are the inserts I pulled. The last thing we'll talk about before I show you the hits is the Ginter code as it is every year. Apparently it's a murder mystery this year. These are the code cards. They're kind of like files on certain people. I'm assuming these people, uh, and they all have Twitter accounts by the way, so you're going to want to follow each and every one of them on Twitter if you want to, um, uh, you know, I I'm assuming they'll start tweeting hints about the code. And then there's like a story on the back. It's like a puzzle. So. Um, that's going to go together. I'm assuming it's going to look kind of like a newspaper page that will give you some hints on how to start. And then here are the actual um, code cards talking about the murder in Willow Creek. So uh, for anyone that cares about the code cards, I'm sure you get to work on that. I personally, it's just a little out of the realm of what my brain can handle. So I'm not smart enough maybe to put these code things together. So I will not have my card on a Topps product anytime soon. The hits, let's talk about them. They're framed minis as always. Jersey of Evan Longoria. These are black this year, and I love the design of them. Also, unlike other years, not too much movement. Like, the frame is really kind of framed perfectly, so you don't have that sliding around. Um, but there is the open pane, so you can feel um, feel the game, if you will. Uh, Big Poppy David Ortiz, who, even though uh, I'm a Yankees guy, this guy, really, really digging this guy. He just seems like a nice... Good all-around Dune. Um, uh, Fister, World's Strongest Man, a little relic piece here, which is cool. This is when it starts getting good. We got a Fister piece, which I thought was kind of a good hit. Um, and then this Haney, this is Tiger Woods. Caddy, the guy that threw him under the bus, wrote the book about him. Um, and here's a piece of his jersey. We did get autographs, and they're not guaranteed. It could be, you know, one of anything. But this one, 
is a Brad Peacock auto. And then secondly, we got a Joel Hanrahan Red to 10, which is pretty nice. I don't have much luck with this product. I like buying it for the uh, to build the set, but uh, it did okay today. We got one of those. We also got this, a Black Border Mini Bryce Harper rookie card. Probably going to throw that on eBay just to, you know, get a little pop while it's hot. Um, I would like to keep it, but it might just be worth getting rid of for now. And finally, my brother, he's like, what is this, man? This card looks cool. It's kind of different. I'm like, he's like, it looks like wood or something. I'm like, yeah, dumb dumb. Turn it around and check out the numbering on the back. And sure enough, there it was, hand-numbered, one of one, Carlos Lee uh, mini wood card. And this was not in a rip card. This was loose in a pack. And uh, it's pretty sweet. So red auto, lots of wood. It's Alan Ginter. It's, it's, if you bought the product, it's what you know. It's nothing really new. You know, a couple different inserts here and there, but it's fun. I said to myself, I'm going to buy two boxes this year, then I'm going to stop. I'm probably going to go back for another two somewhere along the line. And when I do, I'll take you guys along for the ride. Yanks and Beans on Twitter. Check it out. Cardboard Dugout is the blog spot. DCSSportsCards.com is where I get all of my cards from. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.